Okay. Hello, or should I say Oki? That is hello in Blackfeet. My name is Rachel. I'm the Youth Development Specialist for the Great Falls Public Schools. I'm going to be talking today a little bit about the eagle feather. I'm going to tell you a little bit why it's so important, the significance of it, and how it is going to tie into the story that you guys recently had read. So you guys had received a bag in the mail or at school, and this is going to have all your material that you need. So you'll have the eagle feather cut out, and then you'll have something that you need to find around your home that you can color with, either a pencil, a crayon, marker, whatever you can color your feather with, and then scissors. You are gonna need to ask to make sure that you can use your scissors so that you're always safe and nobody gets hurt. So, so the eagle feather ornament represents the eagle in the story. The eagle in the story, as you probably remember, was the one that had guided the man in the red suit on his long journey. So today I want to give you guys a little bit of background about the eagle feather and why it's so important and what it means. There are a lot of different kinds of eagle feathers. So this one is a bald eagle feather. Then this one is an immature bald eagle feather. And then this one is a golden eagle feather. So these are all different eagle feathers. So there's a lot of different kinds of reasons why you would get an eagle feather. So today with the Indian Education Department, we do eagle feather ceremonies. These ceremonies represent that you have succeeded or completed or achieved something very important, which is graduating high school. So if you graduate high school, usually you will get a eagle feather, it'll be beaded, and then you will become a warrior. And that is something that's very sacred to the Native Americans, and it's a very important and to express and show you how appreciated you are for succeeding, you would receive an eagle feather. So this is what you're going to need. We're going to do the cutout. So if you want to color it before you cut it out, you can do that. If you want to cut it out first and then color it, you can do that. So you can choose whatever you color you would like to use. So if you want to use a pencil, if you want to use a marker, you, you can use a crayon. So my first one that I'm going to color is I'm going to color it all brown. And the reason I do brown is because it's more of like a common. And I'm just going to kind of shade it in a little bit and keep the white out. So then that just kind of shows that maybe it's a, a bald eagle where it has a little bit of brown on it and then the white tip. So once you do that, so that's what I'm gonna do for mine. You can go ahead and cut it out. You don't have to cut it specifically right on it. You can cut around it a little bit so it has a little bit of edge. So, just like that. So this one, what I'm gonna do is, do you see how it has the clouds on there? This is a golden eagle feather. I'm gonna go ahead and try and darken it a little bit to make it see so it has the white in there. So it can represent the golden eagle. Instead of just having a plain or just brown, you can kinda color it however you like keep it white, and then maybe it would represent that. Those clouds in the sky, these eagles fly very high in the sky. That's why they have really good, good eyesight. They're able to fly through the storm and be able to oversee all the bad that's coming. And that's why it was so easy for him to give him guidance, to be able to show him where he was going. Maybe a little bit of yellow. Maybe a little bit of black right here. You can always do your top. You can leave it white. Maybe put a little bit of gray. Do a little bit of black. And then you just cut your little hole, and there it is. Well, thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I really appreciate it. Um, now, this eagle feather is going to represent your story that you just heard, and hopefully you'll be able to share it with all your friends and your family and let everybody know the significance and why it's so important to everybody. I'm happy that you guys came, and also I'd like to let you know if you're able to share that, 
go ahead and send a picture. Or if I see you at school, let me see it. I'll take a picture of it and we'll make sure and get it up on our Facebook. Thank you and have a great day. Happy holidays.